I believe that we need to start listening to our body. That's the number one thing. We work so hard and run after the money, we run after every stress of the life, but we don't take care of our body. Because since I have bladder cancer now, I pay attention to what I eat, what I drink, what medicine is good for me, not medicine is not good for me to take, even if it's out of the counter. Um, I, I get self-care more than running like crazy. So I believe we need to pay attention to nature. We need to pay attention to what we eat, what we drink, um, listening to our body, you know, getting enough sleep because, you know, and, and like me, since then, I cut off everything negative of, around my life. I cut off people just because if I don't have no, nothing positive from a friend or a family member that keeps me away from being in under pressure, I don't want to deal with it. So I would say just to be more into listening to yourself, that means do what makes you happy and um, pay attention to your body because that's how you know what the signs are. Back in May, um, I normally I have a chronic constipation since I've been born, but back in May, I stay almost three weeks and I was taking every laxative and everything I could and it didn't help. So I said, let me go see a gastroenterologist to see what's going on. And I walk into that office that day to, to do a sonogram and that's how they saw the tumor in my bladder in from the ultrasound and he asked me if i'm been bleeding or if i have pain and i said no why is that because i see something that is not having to do with your constipation but how did it get here i don't know i said i don't know i don't feel anything then he sent me to go do a ct scan mm -hmm. After I done the CT scan, yes, you can see it right there. It was like almost five mm millimeter and big. So they sent me to the urologist. And when I got to the urologist and the next day, that's when he said, well, well, this is definitely a tumor and it needs to be taken out right away. And we also need to do a biopsy. Honestly, I was not scared but i was a little confused about how to get how did i get it absolutely so then um that day when we saw the tumor on the sonogram he told me it could be cancer but i cannot tell until you do the biopsy mm -hmm. now the other problem we had that day was that the biopsy in senegal takes 45 days because we have to send it to europe we don't have the equipment to check it right away. So for that decision, that same night, I took the flight to Lisbon because I have family in Lisbon because I said I cannot wait 45 days to know what's going on. So therefore, we got here to Lisbon the next day. I redid everything at the hospital that my sister took me and they say we need to operate right away. And I had the surgery right away. They took it out and a week later, that's when the result from the biopsy came and I was alone in the doctor's office and he told me that it's cancer. And I was like, okay. He was like, did you hear what I said? I just told you, you have cancer. I say, yes. Am I dying tomorrow? No. Is it metastasis? No. Okay, so what should I do to heal? <laughs> so that attitude already, got the doctor he was like okay i think you are already healed because you this attitude well first of all i believe we are all under not knowing also the real reason why we're getting it so we need more awareness into that for women because we only think men gets it when you see the sign they tell you that it's all from smoking when you never smoke so where can you we have to know about that and I believe 
for me, I would say maybe it's secondhand smoking because I've been sitting next to people because they do say secondhand smoking can bring it to you. Um, so yes, more awareness and more resources for families, members also to have and um, more um, it's more like awareness and 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 um support you know and some people like my country that don't know about it we really need to implement it we really need to go to talk to the government of health it ministry of health and talk about it and then let them do some screening we need to do some free screening a lot of free screening that we can organize around the world because since they're not known we have to push it to be known and I'm willing to do that.